Hello and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room. I'm going to do a little switch up on my videos and I'm going to try to start my videos by saying if you like my videos hit like and subscribe because usually I don't say that till the end of my videos or I forget to say it at all. So if you like my videos, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, you know, I mean, the reason that I used to always say it at the end of the video is because I'm like, how are they gonna know if they like my video or not at the beginning of the video, right? They haven't seen any of my content. Like, how are they gonna know? But I am going to trust and believe that you're gonna like what you see and you're gonna hit the like button because you like the jungle room. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I paused the video because I couldn't find my little sound machine. And guess where it was, guys? It was in the pocket of my robe. Oh, my gosh. I am just, oh. Anyways, I have so many things that I want to show you guys today. So many things I want to talk about. But I could not start the video without, well, one, saying Happy Father's Day. It is Father's Day. And I definitely want to acknowledge all the fathers out there and say happy Father's Day to everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day. Um, and I'm going to try to not make this a super long video, but there's so many things that I want to talk to you guys about and that I want to show you. But I definitely wanted to say happy Father's Day. This is, I would say my newest baby, but I've actually gotten three babies since I got him. Really, they're not babies, but they're three dolls. I just happened to run across three dolls yesterday that I could not resist. And that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about is like as a collector. So, you know how people will say I'm a dolly mommy and I'm a collector. You know, I'm both, totally both. I mean, I collect a lot of things, guys, besides dolls. I have other collections. I collect scarves, I collect Smurfs, I collect, you know, like little Disney figures, I collect, um, I collect trolls, I collect salt and pepper shakers, I collect, um, uh, oh my goodness, why am I not able to think? I collect Precious Moments figurines and Precious Moments things. I love things with apples on them for my kitchen. Um, you know, I, I love, I love all kinds of stuff. I love carousels. I love peacocks. I love a lot of, a lot of stuff. I love guys, a lot, a lot of stuff. I love, I have a wizard of Oz collection. You know, I'm just looking around my room. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, I have a lot of things that I collect, but, um, dolls is like, oh, I collect stuffed animals. I have Build-A-Bears. Um, yeah, I just, I have a lot of collections, but dolls is like my favorite and really baby dolls but these dolls that I found yesterday I saw them when we were thrifting we go thrifting a lot guys <laughs> and yesterday we happened to be thrifting and I found these three dolls and it's a, a set of three as part of a collection and I was like blown away by them. I am going to show you them in just a minute. I'm also going to um, show you a little bit about, I have a couple of dolls that um, I have kind of as a memorial for my mom and my dad. So I'm going to show them. And I'm also going to do the name reveal for this gorgeous baby. This baby is by far, hands down, the most realistic baby that I have in my nursery. Absolutely. He is a full body silicone that I just got. So he's my newest baby doll for sure. And I am so in love with this baby. Um, I want to bring him everywhere with me. Um, you know, I'm waking up in the middle of the night to look at him and make sure that he's okay. I, I'm going to do some um, videos. I just haven't had a chance, guys. We've been running around, but I, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this baby. He's so snuggly and so cuddly and so sweet and gorgeous. And he's wearing a little sleep sack. 
it's a little gray and white sleep sack. This is what I had my babies in pretty much when they were little like this, um, with their little feet hanging out. You could see his gorgeous little feet, his little toes are so soft and squishy and just cute. He's got these little mitts on that match and it came with this little matching hat. This is actually a set that came with one of the babies that I purchased from Marisol at Marisol's Doll Nursery in a box opening that she sent with me. But I love little sleep sacks because like I said, when my babies were little, this is what I put them in. When they were newborn size, this is what I wanted them in. So easy, so comfy. They've got room to just kick their little legs around. When it's time to change their diaper, I can just lift it so easy, change their diaper, and then just put it right back down. Just easy, breezy, comfy, cozy. Oh, and he's just so happy with his little nookie. His little nookie is actually a glow in the dark. It matches his little outfit. And don't worry, Cena, it is a silicone nookie. Okay, mama? Okay. <laughs> but, um, he, look, I'm going to show you his little lips when I take it out. Look at his little lips. They're so precious. <laughs> So cute. I've been feeding him. His drink and wet system is amazing. Seriously amazing. I'm definitely going to do um, some drink and wet bottle feeding videos with him. I have four bottles right now that um, I really love using with him and I'm going to show you those. I collect bottles too and it was um, really funny because the first night, you know, people were sending me messages. Did you do a bottle feeding on him yet? I mean, of course, that's one of the first things I'm going to do after I snuggle him and hold him and love on him a little bit. Yes, I did a bottle feeding, you know, right away, but I was having a little bit of a struggle with it. And um, I contacted the um, artist who painted him, which is Shrek's Girl 22, Michelle Elizabeth, such a sweet lady and a beautiful artist who created this gorgeous baby and um I contacted her and she just gave me a couple tips so easy I just needed to cut the nipple open just a tiny bit more than it was but his drinking wet is amazing and his little privates are amazing and he's just oh my gosh he is amazing seriously so realistic and so gorgeous and so beautiful and I am so smitten and in love with this baby like I want to hold him all day long I was tempted I woke up early this morning to make my husband breakfast and really that is not my norm at all <laughs> I'm an early bird okay but I don't like to cook breakfast in the morning I'm actually like my husband likes a hot breakfast every day but I told him when we got married I was like you know that's just not my thing like I'm fine having fruit and yogurt or cereal or something like that in the morning. So if you want a hot breakfast every morning, you're going to have to make it yourself. <laughs> I'm like, I'll make you a hot breakfast, you know, for your birthday, for Christmas, for like Father's Day, for a special occasion. But that's not going to be my everyday thing. If that's something that you want. I'm like, when we retire or... You know, on occasion on the weekend, I might. But so it's a special thing. Now, I'll cook dinner and lunch and stuff like that. Like we're going to make steaks for dinner or for lunch today because that's what he wanted for Father's Day lunch. Because we like have like a nice early dinner, late lunch type thing. Um, so that's what I'm going to make him because um, that's what he wanted. But and I cook for him all the time. You know, no problem. I love to cook. I just don't like to wake up first thing in the morning and cook. You know what I mean? Like, I like to wake up and do whatever I'm going to do. You know, like, I drink my pop, though. First thing. First thing I crack open that pop. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, What was I? What was I? What was my point? I don't even remember what my point was. I, I just, oh, I wanted to bring him down there when I was cooking my breakfast and put him in the little car seat so he could be down there in the kitchen with me. But then I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. I don't want to get the smell of the bacon and sausage and stuff on my baby 
you know, I, I am just so obsessed with this boy. And I'm just squishing his little tummy. He's just so soft and squishy. And look at how gorgeous he is. I mean, really, he is so stunningly beautiful. Just amazing. I can't get over this baby. I am so, so happy with him and absolutely in love with him absolutely in love this is his special little blankie it has um let me see what does it have on it elephants and um hippopotamus and alligators and animals that you will find in the jungle because he is now the star of the jungle room now i say that about a lot of my babies okay all of my babies are the star at the time when I'm holding them and paying attention because they're the baby at that moment. But he really is. Oh, my goodness. He really, really is. I'm going to take you his little hat off and show you his hair. He is going to have a little bit of hat hair when I take it off. But he's got the softest, sweetest little hair. Look at his hair. He is just as precious as he can be. Just as precious as he can be with his chubby little cheeks and his big, cute little, precious little lips. He is just the sweetest little baby boy. But I didn't tell you, I am going to keep his name Russell. Did I tell you guys that? I can't. I mean, like, like I said, that's what really made me. It sealed the deal with my heart when she said that his sculpt name was Russell. I was like, oh my gosh, this baby is really meant for me. This baby is really meant for me. That was the name my mom wanted to name me if I was a boy. And it, it's just meant to be. And so his little name is Russell. I'm not sure if I'm going to call him Rusty. That's what my mom was going to call me was Rusty. Um, if I was a boy, that was what my nip nickname was going to be. So that's probably what it's going to be. Little Rusty. <laughs> So cute though. I just can't get over it. I just can't get over how sweet and cute he is with his little little toes and his sweet little little sweetness. But I am gonna put him down and I'll keep him in the video so you guys can still look at him because I know you want to keep looking at his sweet gorgeousness. So little Rusty's just gonna lay right here by mommy. And I'm going to show you the doll that I have that represents my dad since it's Father's Day. And he is wearing his Sunday best. He is wearing his Sunday best today. And I guess that's put on by Iris Johnson. I did not know that. She sent me a message on one of my videos that um, I made. I don't even remember. I, I'm kind of behind on my comments, guys. So when I have time, I go back and I look at my comments. I do always read them and I heart them and I love them. And I love reading you guys' comments. They're so much fun. But then when I go back to them and I have time to um, look at them and, and comment back, I really enjoy it. So one of my videos, she commented that she was the one who came up with Sunday Best. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've done Sunday Best. I don't know how many times probably at least three or four times. And I really don't know who I gave credit to, honestly. <laughs> but I gave credit to somebody and she was the one who started it. So I'm so sorry for that, Iris. But if you know me, you know, I sometimes mess up stuff on my videos. But let me show you this baby. This is the baby that represents my dad. So this is Wallace Wyatt. He is a replica Cameron sculpt. But doesn't he look gorgeous in his Sunday best? It's Father's Day, and this is the baby. So he, I absolutely love him. Look at how cute he is. He has big brown eyes, just like my dad did. And maybe a slightly grumpy look on his face. Slightly grumpy. Not super grumpy. Slightly, okay? Slightly. But he is just so cute, and he's got a very gorgeous handsome rainbow tie my dad did always wear ties when he went to church or you know wore something fancy my mom would be the one to pick out his outfit but he is representing with this got this really handsome orange shirt or peachy colored shirt on 
cute little um, vest, black vest with a lapel. He liked to wear nice hats on his head, like little old man hats. I just think he is the cutest little boy. And his name is Wallace Wyatt after my father. He also had, so this is like a whole little suit that he has on. And then just his little white baby shoes. Yes, he's got his cute little baby shoes on. So he is representing for Father's Day and one of the babies representing for Sunday Best. He is not a new baby, but I haven't shown him lately. He is wearing new doll clothes. I have not shown these doll clothes yet on my channel. So that is put on by J Dolls UK, new doll clothes. I am just hitting all the boxes today. Isn't that right? He's going to give you one of the little nuggets of wisdom that my dad used to say. He used to say, beans, bread, and milk is good enough for any man. I don't know why he used to just run around and used to like to say that. Beans, bread, and milk is good enough for any man. Like, because my mom would make amazing, delicious meals on the regular. And, you know, like she made all homemade stuff and, you know, um, was an amazing, delicious cook. And like if we complained about anything, you know, because how kids are not appreciative of things sometimes and, you know, whatever. He would always say, beans, bread, and milk is good enough for any man. So that's my daddy, Wallace Wyatt. Again, he's more of a display doll in my collection. Him and the doll that I have on display to represent my mom sit on a shelf in the other room, um, which I haven't really shown my nursery room lately, but I did kind of have to rearrange the whole thing when my grandkids came because that's the um, room that they all stayed in when they were here and I didn't want them messing with all my dolls because one of them is three and a half and the other one is one and they would have been messing in everything, okay? Everything if they would have been able to see all my dolls. So I'm going to show you the first doll that I have for Oops, I dolled it again. So, I didn't show you guys this. Now, this baby, I've had her for actually quite some time. My mom passed away um, January 15th. And I did get a memorial baby made for her to represent her. But you guys know how sometimes when you have a baby and you name it after somebody, it doesn't really mean that they look like that somebody. You know, and I do have my gorgeous Constance Agnetta. I've shown her on my channel. I showed her on Toddler Tuesday. I love this baby, okay? She is a gorgeous, beautiful baby, and I've named her after my mother. I interact with her regularly, and I absolutely love her, okay? But I try to put her next to my dad doll to sit on my shelf, and it just didn't, like, it just didn't work out for me. Like, I just, they didn't go together. They just didn't look right together and she just didn't really look like my mom to me so she still has my mom's name and she still represents my mom like she's the great granddaughter of my mom or she'd be the granddaughter because I'm her mother so I guess she'd be the granddaughter of my mom but I got another doll okay so this is the first oops I dolled it again like I said, she's been in my nursery for a while. I just hadn't shown her yet. She is a manufactured doll, so she's a different kind of doll. But she is just adorable and gorgeous, and she sits on the shelf right next to my dad doll. So I'm going to show her. So let me move you, Mr. Wally. He's not too happy about it, but it's okay. We'll put you back on so I can show you guys together in just a minute, okay? Just a minute, just a minute. Now the outfit that she's showing is not a new outfit. It's in a case of, show it to me one more time. Because I did show this outfit. This is an outfit that came in a box opening from, um, let me see, Mandy at Mandy's Cuddle Bugs. It came with a, a baby from her, or it could have came from Lynn. I think both of them gave me a baby with this outfit. But look at this cute baby girl. My mom had big, beautiful green eyes. And I'm going to show you a picture of my mom and dad. I'm going to show you both of their high school um, graduation pictures. And they did go to high school together. So I have their graduation pictures from when they were in high school together. So cute. 
but this baby looks more like my mom to me and her sitting next to my dad doll is just so cute she's an adora doll um and i just think she is absolutely adorable so adora fits her perfect she i ordered her from a website um I was just looking for dolls with green eyes um, and you know she came up and I saw her face and I was like oh my gosh that looks a lot like my mom you know I I kind of got teary-eyed and I asked my husband and you know I I know I had just received my more expensive custom-made doll that I called Constance Agneta, who again, I absolutely love. I really do. I love that baby. She is so sweet. And I actually interact with her and, and do a lot of things with her and love her and change her and love holding her and everything. But she just didn't represent my mom the way that I wanted to, you know, have her sit next to my dad. And this baby, I showed it to my husband and he was like, Go ahead and get her, baby. Go ahead and get her. So here she is. So her name is also Constance Agnetta. But isn't she gorgeous? She is so, so sweet. And her eyes are absolutely stunningly beautiful. Bright green. She's got pretty dark brown hair with just a nice little curl to it. She's not too heavy. I think she weighs like two pounds or something like that. You know, and she's like a harder vinyl, just a nice harder vinyl. But and her arms go up to here. Um, maybe one day I'll do a changing video with her, maybe for a holiday or something like that. Um, when I'm gonna change her outfit. She my mom always loved to wear green because of her green eyes. And I do the same with my Constance Agneta doll. Um, that would be her granddaughter. But, um, so I like her in green. She has these pretty green bows and her gorgeous little hair. But yeah, she just represents my mom and looks a lot like my mom to me. And I just, I just love her. So I got her instead. So she's a gorgeous little Adora doll. Not quite as big, but really cute. And she's wearing this cute little outfit. It's got the pretty red flowers and pink. And my mom loved to wear flowers as well. And then these little shoes, I don't even know where I got them from, but these little socks I got I don't remember where I got them from either, guys. But don't they match the outfit perfectly? And these little shoes fit her feet perfectly. She actually came with a little raccoon outfit on, which was super cute. Um, but it was red and orange, which I actually love the colors red and orange. But my mom loved green. So I've um, actually gotten several different outfits for her with touches of green in them. Um, for her to wear but I just think she looks super super cute in this little outfit and she's all set and I know it's Father's Day but I'm showing my mom and my dad because I just like to keep the dolls together on my shelf since they both passed and I'm going to put them together here now so you can see I just think they look really nice together and they look like they go together and she can kind of lean into him and they just look nice together and you know she looks happy and my dad looks a little grumpy and that's kind of how they were <laughs> my dad was you know i mean he would be happy and crack jokes and be silly sometimes but a lot of times he was you know a little grumpy and she was always the happy one always the one to be you know lighthearted and trying to keep it fun and fresh and trying to keep him happy and I don't know it just it just makes me happy to go in there and see them here together so this is my dad Wallace Wyatt and my mom Constance Agnetta let me show you their pictures since it's Father's Day normally I would always do ladies first but since it's Father's Day I'm gonna show you my dad's picture first this was my dad in high school um, when he was young his graduating picture now he was shot in the face when he was 10. So his cousin accidentally shot him um, in the face when they were goofing around with guns in Kentucky. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm not an advocate for not having guns or anything like that, but if you do have them, you know, make sure you're 
kids know not to play around with them. That's all I'm saying. Because um, as you can see, one side of his face is a little droopy, but he's still very, very handsome. So that was my dad when he was young, his graduating high school picture. And then here is my mom. My mom. Beauty queen. That's my mom. Her graduating picture from high school. You see those green eyes. She had stunning, beautiful green eyes. And that's why I was like, I have to find a baby with big, beautiful green eyes. And this baby, I thought, you know, looked more like her. I just was like this. I don't know. I just thought that that looked a lot more like her. And I don't know. I just really, really was happy with that. And I was trying to find the right time to share it with you guys. Because like I said, I've had her for a long time. Um, but yeah, I love her. And I love them together. And I just keep them on the shelf together. So my mom and dad. But Again, happy Father's Day to everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day. But now I'm going to show you the new dolls that I just found yesterday. So this is the first one that I saw on the shelf. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is a beautiful doll. I, I didn't know at the time, you know, but I brought her home and looked up her information she is a 14 inch doll and she's called a heart to heart playmate doll. Um, and she is absolutely gorgeous. She is representing from Mexico and her name is Consuelo. And I was like, I could not resist. Look at her eyes. She is so pretty. And this is actually the original outfit that she came with. Of course, I brought her home and um, washed her up and everything and brushed her hair, but washed her hair, brushed her hair. Her hair was in beautiful condition. I mean, they were in gorgeous condition. Her earrings were missing, but I just put some on myself. I put little hearts on Consuelo. And then I put this little bow in her hair. This bow was actually made by... Tamara at Once Upon a Nursery. She makes little bows and this bow matched perfectly with her outfit. When I found it this morning in my bows, I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to match perfectly with her little outfit. But I could not resist this doll. I was like, she is so pretty. Look at the details in her little face. And then I, as I was looking on the shelf, I found two of her sisters. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I they were $2.99, you guys. $2.99 in really good condition. I mean, their shoes were missing and their little jewelry and accessories were missing, but in really good condition and I could not resist. Let me show you her sisters. So there's Consuelo. Here's her sister. This one is from Afghanistan. Her name is Shola. Shola from Afghanistan. Now this shawl I found for her, um, the original doll had a different shawl. I'm just going to take it off because um, I have scarves. I have a scarf collection and so I just cut one short to give her one because that's how they had the doll represented. But look at her eyes. Isn't she stunning? And of course her earrings were missing as well, but this is her original dress. She had pants and shoes and stuff and some bracelets, but, and her hair is beautiful too. But I was like, oh my gosh, look at the details on her face. Shola from Afghanistan. And I just love that they're from different countries of the world. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to get these dolls. Look at how gorgeous these babies are. So I don't know. Do you call these babies? No, they're dolls. But I, I... I couldn't resist them. I was like, baby, I have to get these. So now, of course, I want to collect all of them. I've been looking on eBay and looking on Macari and because they're no longer in circulation. But and I guess they originally came out um, in like 2010 to 2014 or something like that. And man, I mean, they are so stunning to me. They're just adorable. I have one more to show you. This one has even more interesting details. 
Let me set them. Let me see. I'll set them right here. This one is from India, and you guys know how I started watching Bollywood movies recently and listening to a lot of that music. This one is from India. Look at her. She even has her nose pierced. Do you see that? How amazing. And of course, I put those earrings on her too. She has little stars on her ears. But her name is Naji from India. And she even has henna painted on her hand. I was like, oh my goodness. This is the original outfit that came on her course without the shoes but look at her stunning hair beautiful curly hair and yeah of course the bows I I did the little added touch of the bows I think she came maybe with a headband originally but oh man I was like oh man she is gorgeous look at those eyes and they're all different skin colors and they have all different eye colors and all different details and like the nose ring I was like oh my goodness how cool is that so I have Mexico India and Afghanistan currently and they're called heart-to-heart -heart dolls um, from playmates and I I couldn't believe that I found such fabulous gorgeous dolls yesterday and I, so, uh, oops, I dolled it again, times three, just yesterday, but aren't they beautiful? I, and I love 14 inch and 18 inch dolls too. And I'm going to be looking for all of these guys. I'm going to try to collect as many as I can because they have one, they have one that's from New Orleans who's like creole background she is so pretty and she has green eyes and you guys just heard me talking all about green eyes so i'm so into the green eyes i'm like oh man she is beautiful i'm gonna try to find her um there's one from where is she from i think she's from ethiopia i saw a couple of them um but their hair didn't look that great you know i want to find one that that's really nice because all of these all of these their hair is still looking gorgeous and they're still really beautiful like no big bad markings on them you know because i'm a collector i want my babies to be in good condition and all these are gorgeous 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 I was just so pleased to find these have you guys ever heard of these dolls before I had never heard or seen them before but when I saw them I was like I have got to get these babies so I hope you guys enjoyed my little video I know I was all over the place talking about a lot of different things I'm going to talk about one more thing besides cooking my husband a fabulous father's day early lunch or late lunch early dinner I have to take off these nails today guys I have to take off these nails my supervisor saw me Friday right before I was getting ready to leave and she said oh your nails are really pretty let me take a look at those guys I'm not even supposed to be wearing these kind of nails at my job and I was not even aware I wasn't even supposed to be wearing these and I've been wearing these for like a month. I was planning on taking them off anyways, but I was considering going and getting them refilled. But I guess I will not be doing that since it's not even allowed at my job. I'm not even supposed to be wearing them at all. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm I'm really dreading it, but... That's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be doing that and catching up on some of you guys' videos. That's my plan for the evening. And, of course, taking care of my baby because he is just a sweet little newborn. And he needs to be fed every two hours still, guys. He's such a fresh newborn. He needs to be fed every two hours. Two to four. In the middle of the night, he can last about four hours, but during the day, it's like every two, more like two to three hours that I'm feeding him. But he is such a sweet, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boy. And I'm so in love with my new baby boy. He has just stolen my heart. Seriously, 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 seriously. And I'm so thankful to have him in my nursery. 
And I'm so thankful to have all of you as my friends. I really, really love this community. I love this hobby. I love sharing my babies with you. I just really enjoy everything about this hobby. And, and I just really love sharing my life and sharing everything and the love of dolls with each other. It just makes it so much fun. And I really hope you guys enjoyed my video today. And I hope you all have a happy, wonderful, beautiful day. And we wanted to say thank you for being a friend. And what else do we want to say, little Rusty? What else do we want to say? We wanted to say jungle love to everyone. Have a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous rest of your day.